Surely our Lord does not need any silver or gold. He says in the Gospel of Matthew, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Dear brothers and sisters, when we offer a gift to God, two things are very important to be kept in mind. The intention of our heart and the sacrifice that is expected of us to make. Therefore, it is worth a while to turn our attention to the Gospel of the day, in which we see our Lord praising a widow for her offering based on these two important points. In our world, where a majority of people give so that they get more than what they have given, our Blessed Lord is giving us an example of a widow who gives everything that she has. She, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood, says the Lord. It is obvious from the praises that the Lord has for her that she gave less in the eyes of others, but it was very much acceptable in the eyes of God. Therefore, St. Chrysostom says, For God regarded not the meagerness of the offering, but overflowing of the affection. She came to the temple and offered to God out of her love for God. In other words, she loved her God and offered to God all that she has and all that she is. Perhaps a question that we need to ask ourselves is what is my intention when I come to the Lord with the offering? Do I come to Him with an offering out of my love for Him or because I love myself and want to get something more from Him? Or do I offer him so that people may praise me for my generosity? Secondly, her offering involved sacrifice from her side. She sacrificed all that she had for the living and gave it to God. We might ask, how could such an offering be acceptable to God? Surely our Lord does not need any silver or gold. He says in the Gospel of Matthew, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Mercy is the sacrifice the Lord desires. Mercy is a virtue that helps us to think of others and their needs greater than one's own. Thus the widow in the gospel gave all that she had, surely knowing that she would lack nothing because she needs nothing except her God. And the Lord paid attention to her offering and praised her. In the first reading too, we see Daniel and his companions not willing to defile themselves, sacrificing the rich food from the king's table so that they remain as God wants them to be. They sacrificed the richness of the king's table and were gifted with the riches of wisdom and prudence from God. Let us offer ourselves and all that we have to the Lord as an act of love so that we may be filled with the gift of wisdom and prudence and above all confidence in our Lord. Amen.